Children, welcome to the Fun Vocabulary Show. My name is Mr. Ryan, and I'm going to be teaching you about food and drinks. Did you know, on average, a person eats about 60,000 pounds of food in one lifetime? That is a lot of food. That's almost as much as six elephants, the same weight as six elephants. Oh, that is so much food. Well, let's start off and let's learn about some food and drinks. Okay, the most important thing for you and I is water. We need to drink water. If we don't drink water in several days, then we will die. And we can go without food, you know, for maybe a few weeks, but not with water. Did you know that your brain is about two-thirds full of water? Wow, that's a lot of water. What is water in Mandarin? One more time. Great. And here is some milk. Oh, milk is very good for you. It gives you strong bones. And on average, an American drinks 25 gallons of milk. Wow! And oh, cows are not the only animals that give us milk. Goats, sheep, camels, buffalo. We get milk from lots of animals. Well, I'm going to drink some of this milk. So, one minute here. And some things that we can make from milk are like ice cream and butter and cheese. Lots and lots of things. Plus, it also gives you a nice mustache. Milk in Mandarin is... One more time. Great. My favorite thing when I wake up in the morning is drinking a glass of juice. And you can get juice from many different things, like strawberry juice, apple juice, orange juice, lemon juice, the list goes on and on and on. But did you know that lemon juice actually has more sugar in it than strawberry juice? Mmm, I love juice. And juice in Mandarin is... 果汁. One more time. 果汁. Great. Cheers. Ooh, on a hot summer day, a perfect thing to drink is a glass of Coke. Coke has lots of things that it does for us. Like, Coke was actually a medicine long, long time ago to cure headaches. Plus, if you ever get gum stuck in your hair, what you do is you wash your hair out in Coke, and it will take that gum right out. And did you know that Coke has lots of caffeine in it, just like tea and coffee? And lots of people drink maybe a Coke or maybe some coffee in the morning to help pep them up a little bit. But actually, an apple is much healthier and more effective and better for you to have in the morning and it will wake you up a lot better than a glass of coke or coffee. But even though on a hot day coke is pretty yummy, in Mandarin coke is Kele. One more time. Kele. Stupendous. And now, one of my favorite things to eat is peanut butter. Peanut butter is really sticky. You put it in your mouth and you start talking like this. Blah, 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 blah. It's very hard to talk with peanut butter in your mouth. Well, anyways, peanut butter comes from peanuts. And did you know that two former American presidents were peanut farmers? Hmm, maybe I should become a peanut farmer if I want to become a president. And by the time an average American kid graduates from school, he has eaten 1,500 peanut butter sandwiches. Whoa, 
That's a lot of sandwiches. Well, now I want to make a peanut butter sandwich. Let's make one. First, I take the bread and I'm going to stick some gooey, ooey peanut butter all over the bread like this. Ah, yeah. And smear it on. Let's get some more. And get it like that. Oh, you can see those yummy nuts. And then I'm going to put another piece of bread just on it like that. Then I'm going to take a sharp knife. But remember, don't use a sharp knife without your mom or dad around because you don't want to cut off a finger and have a missing finger like this. So, make sure your mom and dad are always around. Now I'm going to cut the peanut butter sandwich in half just like this. Oh, yeah. And enjoy. Oh. Also, you can put many other things with a peanut butter sandwich, like chocolate sauce, chips, anything you really want to, to be honest. Mm-mm. I'll see you in a bit. In Mandarin, what is peanut butter? Huasheng One more time? Huasheng jiang. Great. Mmm. Oh, uh, one of my favorite things to do on a hot summer day is to have a barbecue with some good friends. What I like to do is stick some meat on the grill, like a patty like this, and make a hamburger. I'm going to show you what you usually put on a hamburger. But first of all, you can always stick some tomatoes and onions and pickles on a hamburger. But you must always have some tomato ketchup like that. Oh yeah. And some mustard. Let's stick some mustard on just like that. And then you got yourself oh, squirted some off the side. It's okay. Then you got yourself a hamburger. This is a bit of a small one. I prefer one maybe three or four times bigger than this one. But it will do. In Mandarin, what is hamburger? Hanbao bao. One more time? Hanbao bao. Great. Ha. And now let's learn about noodles. Here are two uncooked noodles. This one is more like a, a noodle that you would find in Chinese food, maybe in a Chinese dish like soup. And this noodle right here is more like an Italian noodle. One that you might find in a, a sort of pasta, maybe like, you know, spaghetti and meatballs or macaroni and cheese. So you have lots of different types of noodles. And here are just a bit or a sample of some noodles. And in Mandarin, what is noodles? Mian tiao. One more time? Mian tiao. Great, I'll make you some a noodle dish. I am so hot, so hot, woo hoo, hot, ha. I like to eat a hot dog when I go to the baseball game. Here is a hot dog right here. It is mm, scrumptious. And you know what? In 2001, there was a big man who ate 50 hot dogs in 12 minutes. 12 minutes, 50 hot dogs. Oh, that would give you a belly ache. Oh. And children, remember, a hot dog is actually not made from a dog. <laughs> nope, not from a dog. Now let's make a hot dog. And first of all, when you take a hot dog, you always have to put some yummy ketchup again, just like you do on a hamburger. But this one is a hot dog. And squeeze some mustard on it too. And whoop! Spraying everywhere and eat it just like this. <sighs> Hot dog in Mandarin is. One more time. <laughs> Here is some bread. And did you know that a farmer only gets about five cents in the US from a loaf of bread? 
but it takes a lot of energy to make bread, so you don't want to waste it. But with bread, you always put on some butter. So after you toast the bread, you put on some butter. So you take some butter just like this, and you put it on the bread just like that, and then you got a very yummy piece of bread. In Mandarin, what is bread? 面包 And butter? 黄油 One more time, what is bread? 面包 And butter? 黄油 Awesome! When a lot of people wake up in the morning, they like to go to the kitchen and grab a bowl of cereal. And with cereal, you always put in some milk, just like that. Yummy! In Mandarin, cereal is... 谷物 One more time. 谷物 Great! And a good hearty breakfast is oatmeal. What you do is you boil some water, stick some oatmeal in there, put some brown sugar, and you got a good breakfast. <sighs> oatmeal in Mandarin is... 燕麥 One more time. 燕麥 <sighs> And now, rice. Rice is actually in more than 50% of the world's population main dish. People use rice everywhere all the time. More people eat rice than hot dogs, hamburgers, or any other thing. And did you know there are more than 150,000 different types of rice? That's a lot of different types of rice. And here I have some cooked rice, and right here is some rice that's not cooked. Hmm, anyone hungry? And rice in Mandarin is... 米饭 One more time? 米饭 And here, children, is a potato. We get lots and lots of things from a potato. We can get chips, we can get hash browns, oh yeah! And we get french fries, oh mwah, french fries! We love french fries, don't we? Anyways, remember children, the potato, the most healthiest part of the potato is the skin. So you don't want to take the skin off and then eat it. Also, did you know that a potato is actually 80% water? Hmm, I wonder if I could stick a straw and drink. I don't think so. And remember, don't put the potato in the fridge. You put it in a dry and dark spot. Because if you stick it in the fridge, it might, you know, grow a big bush or something and you open the door and the big potato bush comes out. Okay, in Mandarin, what is potato? 土豆 Potato chip? 薯片 And hash brown? 土豆饼 One more time, potato? 土豆 Potato chip? 薯片 And hash brown? 土豆饼 Great! And here is a chocolate donut. Mmm, Homer Simpson's favorite food. Oh, donut. In Mandarin, what is chocolate donut? One more time. Yummy! And something that I like to eat is ice cream. Did you know that a man named Marco Polo went to China hundreds and hundreds of years ago and discovered a thing called milk ice? Then he brought it back to Italy, and then instead of putting milk in it, they put cream. And that's where we got ice cream from. Oh, amazing! And on Sunday is the day when they sell ice cream the most out of any other day of the week. And vanilla is the most popular flavor. Well, I want a bite. 
In Mandarin, what is ice cream? Bing qi ling. One more time. Bing qi ling. Waiter. <laughs> Children, here is some cheese. Did you know that there are over 400 different types of cheese? Wow, that's a lot of cheese, and they come in white, yellow, and many different colors. Say cheese. Cheese in Mandarin is nai lao. One more time, nai lao. Cheese. Oh, there's a pig after me because I have some ham, and ham comes from a pig. In Mandarin, what is ham? Huo tui. One more time, huo tui. Okay, children. Now we're gonna make a pizza, my favorite food. But first, we must start off with the dough, the nice white dough, and then we put on the tomato sauce like this, and we smear it around. We need to get a lot more than this, and we smear it on the dough. And after we get the tomato sauce on and get it all around, then we can stick whatever we want on the pizza. We can put tomatoes, you can put onions, you can put all sorts of things, but I'm just gonna put on some tomatoes. Nice from the garden. Ah, oh, I love a good tomato from the garden. And then you can put on some sausage right here. Oh yeah, that is starting to look really good. And then you sprinkle on some cheese. So let's get some of this white cheese and sprinkle it on. Ooh, yummy. A little bit more cheese. And then you stick it in the oven. When the oven is hot, and you pull it out when it's done, and you have a wonderful pizza. Can you say, Mamma Mia? In Mandarin, what is pizza? Pizza bing. One more time. Pizza bing. Mamma Mia. Okay, children. I hope you had as good of a time as I did learning about all the different types of food, because I sure like to learn about food. You can obviously tell. Well, before I go, let's go through one more time and go through the names of different types of food. Are you ready? Let's go.